Hey there, uh, this is Grey Ghost Gamer's AI avatar, Russell. Because the real guy just doesn't want to share his voice. What a loser. Does he seriously think you're gonna stick around? Well, try. Anyway, back to the topic at hand. You know how we're all juggling work, life, and trying to squeeze in some gaming time? Well, GG has been diving deep into Days Gone lately, and he's got some killer tips tailored just for you, busy folks. Time is of the essence. All right, first things first, time management. We don't have hours on end to game like we used to, right? So focus on knocking out those main story missions when you hop on. They're like the bread and butter of progress in Days Gone. And you really don't miss much by skipping any optional missions. Early on, it's a bit of a slog because you have to go through the tutorial missions that delve into the gameplay mechanics. But get past that and you'll get to roam around a bit more freely. Don't forget to fast travel when you can, so you may want to skip the survival two difficulty setting your first time out. It cuts down on the commute time between waypoints and saves you precious minutes. Resource Hoarding 101. You know how in the apocalypse everything's scarce? Well, it's the same deal in Days Gone. Kinda. Be smart about what you pick up, at least in the first hours. Ammo, crafting stuff, those are your lifelines. There are a couple nice loot locations to stock up on supplies. They also respawn after a few in-game sleep cycles, but we're in a hurry, so you can come back another time and claim more. Unfortunately, your bike out of the gate is in pretty rough shape, so you'll want to upgrade your ride often so it can last longer, refuel less often, and spend less time scavenging and more time surviving. Save files are your BFF, dude. Those save files are literal lifesavers. There's actually no autosave. So before you dive into anything risky, you can do a quick save from the bike, or just save your progress into a save slot. Trust me, you don't want to redo a tough mission because you forgot to save. Oh, and make multiple save files, especially if you've conquered a pesky mission that you don't want to have to go through again, unless you're a glutton for punishment. It's like having insurance for your game progress. Quick wins for the win. Short on time? No problem. Days Gone has these cool short activities like bounties and ambush camps and freaker nests that you can knock out in a flash. They still give you good rewards and XP without eating up your whole evening. If you want, you can sleep a few in-game cycles and see if you can mix it up with the weather and time of day for some variety. Last but not least, let's talk combat. Stealth is your best buddy here. I know, stealth takes longer, which kind of goes against not having a lot of time. But whether it's enemy camps or horde-sized freaker groups, you'll want to make sure you can figure out what loadout you might need. Go get them and come back to properly take care of things. Sneak around, avoid unnecessary fights, and save your ammo for when you really need it. Oh, and use distractions and the environment to your advantage. It's like setting up the perfect ambush. Enemies and freakers won't know what hit them. So yeah, that's GG's cheat sheet for days gone. With these tricks up your sleeve, you'll be owning the apocalypse in no time, even with your crazy schedule. If this video helped you out, please subscribe for more game secrets and give this puppy a huge like. Give GG a piece of your mind in the comments below and maybe suggest something you would like to see happen in an upcoming video. Chin up, have a blast, and maybe, just maybe, Grey Ghost Gamers will grow a set and stop using me, Russell, your AI avatar, to voice everything for him. One can only hope.